This video is presented by Print23D. It's Bradley at Print23D and today I'm going to show you a twisty puzzle designed by Adam Cowan. He's a member of the twistypuzzles.com forum and he designs all sorts of uh, crazy 3D puzzles. So here it is. This is my creamsicle, as I call it, puzzle. Uh, the 3D model, as I said, was designed by Adam using 3D CAD software. Now, this puzzle was printed in one piece, meaning it was never assembled. Um, it was printed with the Dimension SST 1200ES, which I'm pointing at right now. Now, I can print this because I have soluble support technology, which is the SST. That's the uh, name of the machine. So basically what happens is I print this puzzle and all the little gaps are filled in uh, with support material. So here we have the completed Rubik's Cube. And it's fresh out of the machine. This was, I believe, about a 13 hour build. I pulled away some of the support material so you can see the bottom part, which would be here. This is the bottom of the part where the machine uh, built the part. I also peel away a little section where you can see the orange and white seam. Now support material dissolves in a water bath. So any little crack dissolves away. Now, halfway through the print, I changed the color from white to orange, as you can see right here in this center connecting hub. If I could just figure out how to solve it, I could show you, but since uh, I'm not sure of the formula to solve it, and I haven't had the time to sit down and solve it again um, since it was built. So I'm going to show you how it works here. Now, what's really cool is it feels like it's going to fall apart because you have to leave tolerances in there for the support material to fill in the gaps. Otherwise, it's going to print together and it'll just be a solid block. That doesn't mean anything. So, as you can see, it is kind of loose. But that's okay because it works. That's all we we're trying to prove is that we can make it work. So, I'm showing you that I can rotate the different sides here without a problem. Now they get kind of bound up just because of play in there, but that's okay. So here it is. As you can see, this cube has lots of play in it. It's mainly the edge pieces that have play. The rest of the pieces are pretty locked in place. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, put your comments in the comment section below and check out my website. It's printo3d.com. If you have any questions, just give me an email or just put it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to replies.